Yo, yeah, what's up, Lego builders? It's Sean again. We've got our second unboxing video. How you doing, guys? How you doing? As you can see, we got loads of stuff. I've been stockpiling again. Do you know how hard it is to not open any of this? Right? A box will come in and it's like, yeah. So this box here, this is just for like putting the stuff on. So this, I wish I could open this and this was full of Lego, but it ain't. But these are various things like Bricklink, um, like basically putting some sets together. There's a couple of sets that um, I'm trying to put together. Um, hopefully there's some 9 to 8 stuff in there as well, which is the old build that I'm doing. Um, so that would be cool. It would be a little bit more of a progress. We're still a little way on it. So probably get an update on that at some point. But um, yeah, we got, I think we got one from my dad. Um, sent off some stuff for him to resort um, and fix because he's a he's a really good um, restorer. So he'll do trains and and uh, models and everything like that. So I sent off a few things to him to see if he could restore them for us, if he could. And there should be, if it is from a bed, my dad. Um, it should be a couple of Lego motors that he tested and cleaned up for us. So yeah, and um, I might have some uh, Lego orders in there as well. I think I got um, my replacement from the Lego, was it the Lego London that was scratched up and damaged. In the last unboxing video we had one that was damaged. We had three ordered and one of them was got a crease along the bottom. I don't know if you guys remember this, if you were watching the second video, or well, first video, sorry. It was a crease along the bottom, and also it looked like something had dripped down the back and pulled the artwork off the back. So I contacted the um, lego.com, customer services online, and I don't know what people do to these uh, customer service people when they say, and then they give, yeah, you know, they give them a bit of a, a, a bad review, or they're saying that customer service is getting worse. This person, she was wonderful. Uh, goes by the name of Abigail. Thank you so much, Abigail, if you're watching. Um, and she was fantastic. Uh, I had to send a couple of pictures of of the damage, or what I wasn't happy with, and she got a set ordered as I was talking to her and I hadn't even finished the query or anything like that she says yeah no problem we'll get another one on the way to you I've got it done and she also made a special note of packaging as well so we'll see how good that's been packaged because the last one if you guys remember in belch you say you remember yeah yeah I was a little bit disappointed because there was no packaging in there whatsoever so let's go and see what we've got in our first parcel, we're gonna go with the top stuff. Can't be a good cup of coffee, right? So this one first. Oh, hello. It's alive. Um, I'm no idea what this is. Uh, it is addressed to me, so this could be a Brink Bricklink one, and not Sin Trophy Hunter, because Sin Trophy Hunter is eBay. So that's a dead giveaway. So this could be Bricklink. Let's see what we've got. Okay, interesting. Interesting. N to B bricks. Thank you for your order. That's kind of cool. Like that. That is cool. That's that's promoting yourself. And it's got the order number on it as well. Nice. N2B bricks, not too bad bricks. <laughs> All right, so what, I can't remember what I ordered from not too bad. All right, bricks. Ah, cool, yes. Okay, so this is, these, these are rotor pieces and this is for the set called Red Rotors. As you can see, the rotors are not red. Don't know why it's called Red Rotors, but I do have the set here. 
and we can now do a build video on it. So this is the set. It's a creator set. Set 31003. And I bought it on eBay quite some time ago and I didn't know some pieces were missing. Now I've got some common pieces in there, uh, a gray cone, but the two rotors, these two rotors here are the real key thing. Oh, and the Technic bricks actually, the one by one Technic bricks. I don't know if you can see those, those ones there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to building that now. It looks like a pretty, a pretty cool basic kit, but that puts it a hundred percent. So we'll be doing a build video on that. Awesome. Pop that down there. Thank you so much. Uh, not too bad bricks. And they were UK based as well. So postage was like nothing much. Uh, first class stamp. Oh, it looks like an easy build. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, it's going to be a, a big, massive change from the from our little mascot here. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a change from that, and it will definitely be a a, a, a video, uh, one video. Oh, I love coffee. Right, next, this one is Sin Trophy Hunter. This is eBay, and whoa. Okay, so this is cool. This is cool. It's a little bit faded, but it is old. And I don't know if any of you guys remember this piece or the symbol. It's uh, Lego Vintage Lego Space. It is part of 928. It's, I've got, let me see, I've got two, four. I've got four pieces missing now, which are one by two bricks with the same symbol on it. Um, finding the symbol isn't too difficult. Finding a good intact symbol is difficult because it's old and that is almost complete there's a little nick just on the top part of the moon there is that the thing you remember saying uh it's for the rocket it's for a spaceship so it's it's not quite a rocket but you're not too far off belts you're right right cool but that is going to be um that is definitely going to be a build video as well that actually flew away. Right, what we got here, we got Sin Trophy Hunter again, so it's another eBay thing. And we do have, we do have a trusty knife instead of scissors this time. So this is a nice little box. I do like that. Um, if I was doing like small pieces, I'd be sending in a box like this. Where's the entrance there, I think. Nice box. Put your knife away all the time. Not on your fingers. All right. <gasps> yes. Just what I was talking about. The one by twos. So this was an order from a guy that um, always put some more in as well. He's put some more. So the original order was the four. Um, so the story is that uh, I ordered from him he missed the uh, notification and so I messaged him and uh, I also contacted contacted eBay saying look I haven't received the item but I've got the you know uh, I, I need to send the feedback in that lot and uh, they said okay no problem so we get in touch with him so he got in touch and then he got back in touch with me and says oh I'm so sorry it's uh, you know he's had his internet changed and stuff like that and he's been doing some moving around and he must have missed the notification because his new paying system is different with notifications and stuff and um, I said hey you know it's, it's, it's all good it's uh, you know these things happen would he said would you still like the order I said yes please so um, he said, okay, I'll send it out and I'll send some others with it. So that's what he's done. He sent another two bricks with it. Now, they're white moon. Um, I think that's how they're supposed to be. I don't think they have the gold pieces in them. 
So they're not bad condition. There's one that's slightly faded, the second one there, but other than that, they're pretty good. And then we throw in another. So we needed four printed pieces for 928. Hello, Jax, how you doing, mate? Uh, Lego, the Muppets minifigures releasing on May the 1st. What a legend. What, this guy? Yes, absolutely. Uh, what a kind man, yes, yes. Um, a, yeah, a big shout out to him. I didn't, don't even know who he is, but thank you so much. That is kind of beyond, uh, above and beyond. That's that's what I'm going to say. And the communication between me and him was just brilliant. And you know, at first I was like, "Have I received it? I just haven't seen it." So, and that's a really really cool box. I'll go use that. So, yeah, nice one. All right. Now then. What do we have here? We have Lego. <laughs> it's gonna all be Lego. It's gonna all be, that's the fun part about this. No, I found this brick the other day and apparently on Bricklink, it's going for 100 and, 105 pound. It was in one set, one set only called Pendulum Nose. It was a McDonald's special type thing, promo. Um, oh, this could be Lego. This could be Lego. It looks like they're kind of box. I'm not gonna look at the shipping label. That, that ruins the fun. I'll, I'll give you a fiver. <laughs> no, I need it. Um, I actually picked it up in a um, job lot of Lego bricks that I was after and um, I didn't notice that you know I wasn't going after that at all all right so now oh I see what they've done put tape across the middle right my bad I haven't cut for it Got it, got it. Right, is this a replacement? Or is this something else? Because I ordered something else from Lego. Um, yes, it's the replacement. Okay, right. So, no packaging again. See that? No packaging again. The box is kind of tight, so that's okay. Um, let's have a look to see what it's like. All right, we got a scratch mark across the top, but A little bit better and details on the back is much better but there is a I don't know if I'm ever gonna catch it on the camera but there is a slight blemish going across here but um, you know it's better than what it was it can join its it can join its friends Okay. And I got a decent box to eat. Actually, use again. Uh, you have that? F yeah, that's what I picked up. I, I picked them up three times. So, are you having any success yet, uh, Jacks? I haven't started yet. I haven't started, but I did find something, and I listed it on eBay. Uh, should retire soon? Yes, it should. All right. Okay, so check this out, Jax. Okay, so this unfortunately got damaged while it was in storage, but it's about 100 quid. That's what its value is now, but unfortunately, because it got damaged, you see there, that's water damage, and it's kind of like a little bit of water damage on here. And I don't know if I can get the camera yeah there you go you can see the water damage here so it got slightly damaged yeah there you go you can see it but it's on eBay it's got some interest 
and stuff like that so uh cool i'll see what it goes like um going loose it's around about 30 quid so i was a bit gutted that it was damaged that's why i put it straight out instead of like investing in it i mean it's done pretty good uh what is it lego seems to have really toned it down on the packaging yes i, I i'm going to have to admit because my first ever box that i got i was so impressed and it was a big box um I was so impressed with the with the packaging that I was like, okay, this is cool. I can trust I can trust this. But you know, I'm thinking about just going to the Lego store um, that's not too far away from us in Leeds, um, and and doing that because then you're guaranteed the boxes are going to be okay. Star Wars can't go wrong with mate. No, um, I still think that uh, the Gungan Patrol is still going to do pretty good. Was it mainly bought uh, uh, the Mario? I put an order in for Mario, two um, two items, and I got gift with purchase as well. Um, I haven't. It might be in this lot. It might be might be in this one actually. Um, the the two sets are retiring, and the gift with purchases, they they they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Was it? I've gone all in on Lego Mario Bowser's. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. That's actually retired already, isn't it? Uh, gift ones are good. Yeah, that's the, that's kind of where I'm aiming at. But uh, Lego.com at the moment has got um, times two or double uh, VIP points on the Mystic Tiger at the moment. So, and I know they're doing gift with purchase for Easter. So, what is it? One of them is like forty pounds. Spend forty pound. The other one's sixty-five pound. Easter chicks and um, Easter bunny, and the values of them don't really weigh up for going out your way to get it. Although I do have an order bookmarked on Lego.com for sixty-four pound. I think it is. So I meet the or sixty-five pound. I meet the requirements for the gift with purchases, but it's. The orders are brick heads, the um, bride and groom. Now, that, to me, my theory is the bride and groom are always, always going to be wanted because there's always weddings, right? And there's going to be some Lego fans that will want bride and groom on the cake. Hey, what's up, Yuna? So uh, yeah, good uh, good price point. Thirty three percent reduced on RRP right now. The Bowser's airship. That's that's a real significant drop on that. That's 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 nice. That's an instant um, money maker. Are you doing big sets then, Jax, or are you just doing anything? Are, are, are you, do you stick to one theme, or what 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 particular themes do you do? All right, so let's go with this one. This one is to me, okay. And ah, uh, yes, this is from my dad. Uh, this is from Malcraft Model Services. So this is re uh, sort of reconditioned. No, um, tested and cleaned items like there are some star wars weapons in here or should be like minifigure uh, not minifigure um we're talking about like vintage figure star wars weapons because in my youth i painted them and my dad restored them back to plastic the normal plastic color or should should have well packaged lego Take a leaf. Oh, nice. Okay. Lots of shredding. Lots of shredding. Oh my life. Uh, let's get a box. Let's get a box. I'm gonna move move my chair back. And we'll pop the shredding in here.
So Jax, is there any particular themes that you're you're going with at the moment? All right, so we got a speeder bike. Look at that, he's, he's even bagged them up. That's incredible. He's even bagged them up. So he does uh, trading a lot with model kits and um, die cast cars and uh, what else? Um, trains, die cast cars, plastic model kits, um, and just basic restoration on everything. <sighs> hasn't done a too bad a job on that. I painted, I painted this silver, and he's he's tried to get it back to what it was. And if you can see, the sheen on the plastic kind of blends with that intake. So he's done a marvelous job on that. Absolutely marvelous job. And the backpack I painted as well, and he's got that back to normal as well. Fantastic job, Dad. Thank you so much. It looks really, really good. Now I only sent him the uh, the back half of the the speeder bike. I bet he was looking at it, going, "What is this?" But yep, 1980s speeder bike. What else we got? We got another speeder bike. Didn't quite get that one, but that's okay. I mean, this job wasn't easy. This job was not easy. Uh, oh, he sent me um, cables back for Lego motors. Yeah, well done, Dad, right? And, I mean, he packaged this good. Really good. Um, he's, he's bagged every single motor. look see what we got here so this is what these are what I sent off to him see these and he even writes motor tested motor tested and working fine no axles that's because uh, it's uh, a special wheel but he did that on every single one of these and look how clean they are. That, that is awesome. That is, he really cleaned those up good. What else we got? Got, got black one here. So different years, different motors. This one's a heavier one. And they, they look almost new. They really do. Right, we'll put those away. Let's have a look at the quick quick look at the weapons if we can find some weapons. That's a battery box. He cleaned up the uh, terminals on the battery boxes as well because you know when you buy them on eBay and, and stuff like that, a lot of things get um, lost, forgotten, damaged. Uh, he uses the same zip locks I do. Here we go. Look at those vintage weapons from the 1980s and he completely restored them back to color. What I'd done was I painted details on them when I was a kid and oh my gosh he's done such a good job on the tripod laser cannon because I'd done silver barrel because when I was a kid, I was making a Star Wars film with my Lego, uh, with my Star Wars figures. So I obviously I wanted to make things look really good. So I painted detail into them. Now, come to selling it, it's not going to be very good, is it? All right, so that's a quick look at that. Fantastic job, Dad. Thank you so much. That was awesome. I am. Um, I'm extremely happy with that. Extremely happy. So yeah, if you guys, if you guys want to um, have some stuff restored or something like that, uh, definitely uh, hit up 
uh, uh, Malcraft models. Uh, like a Lego stop motion? No, it wasn't Lego. It was um, it, so I had a a, a cine a, a cine camera, uh, a really old camera, and it was just basically way back in the day there was this thing called Screen Test, which was a TV show. I think it's seventies, late seventies, and um, it there was a there was somebody who did a, a film with their Star Wars figures and I thought that was really really good so I started building sets and stuff like that and it was just really it was for a hobby and it was also, also to see if I could get the, the, the film produced so yeah you know you have all these Star Wars figures and stuff I mean vintage stuff vehicles and everything like that do something with them you know right let's go with this one got this one today actually this weighs this weighs. Seen Trophy Hunter, eBay. That weighs. That's like, I, I want to say that's like two kilos. That's, that's heavy. All right. So this is, this is eBay. And I did bid, I actually got a couple of bids on. Hello, Zafris. How you doing, mate? Um, big congratulations to you again on second year running on winning the uh, True Trophies uh, contest. All right. What did we get? What did we get? Pretty nicely packaged. I like it. See, seriously, um, Lego, Lego, check it out. Come on, Lego, Lego.com. Sort your <laughs> sort your shit out. All right. Oh, we've got some broken items. That's kind of expected. Uh, green, green base plate. Let me see. Is it, that's broken as well. Okay, so those are useless. But that's okay. Um, I don't have. A red base plate. Those are going to be no good. So we'll throw those. Um, I'm sure this isn't Lego. This is what I got it for. I know what this is. This is what I got it for. Uh, pretty good condition for its age. There is a slight crack in it. This is what I got it for. Is it six by twenty-four plates? Only used in a few kits. Very, very old. Uh, they were, they were like that, and they were a semi-trailer. That's that's pretty much what they were used for. Was a vintage semi-trailer. So. This one's going to probably need a little bit of care because it does have a little split in it. Uh, I'm sure this is not Lego. <laughs> I'm sure that's not Lego. Uh, connects or something. Um, and that's not Lego. But hey, you know, that goes into the not Lego pile. This is Lego. This is Lego. So it's all vintage bricks. Which is nice. It is Connect, right. And we got the vintage steering wheel. That's a black one. I haven't got a black one. So that's cool. You get you get the, the, the grey base and the black steering wheel. What else we got? Um, ooh. An actual old Lego set box there. You can see it's it's been open, but that looks pretty good condition. Um, and if we get to make the setup complete it, because we've got loads and loads and loads of parts in in my inventory here. Uh, ooh, yeah, really old stuff. Look, really old stuff. You can tell by the the connector. It should come apart unless it's so old there you go so yeah 
and that's that's old I got red one of those usually it's a full red door with the uh, the clear on the top that's really old so this is very vintage Lego and it weighs a ton what else we got in here got some more plates there's all sorts of th all sorts of stuff in here all right. that's interesting I got, I got some grey ones of those. And that hole there is for a steering axle. And that one as well. So that's really, really cool. I could look at this all day. That is brilliant. I'm happy with that. All right, last box, last box. <laughs> it's gonna be Lego. Let's see how well they packaged it today. All right. There we go. So next video we're gonna do is inventory video. So we'll stick around for that. Yeah, buddy. It is indeed Mario. Like uh, Jax was saying. Jax is going all out on uh, on Lego Mario at the moment. I picked up these because they are retiring very, very soon. And I picked up two of them. And uh, I said set 71376. It's expansion set to the Mario game in Lego. Apparently, it's it's an interactive thing where the characters actually do sorts of all sorts of things. I'm not quite sure about it, to be honest with you. I've never played it. Expand your starter course. See, it's an expansion. A good set. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I got two of them so I could get the gift with purchase. So we got two of those. That's a gift with purchase. We'll go over the gift with purchase in a minute. Again. No packaging at all. Let's have a look at the condition of the box. Because it's not black, it's not too bad. If it's black, it shows up really badly. But yeah, I think I might enjoy going to the actual Lego store in Leeds um, as opposed to hoping that everything's packaged decently also then i get to look at a load of lego okay these boxes don't look too bad you know considering there is no <laughs> packaging at all fuck's sake lego right and then we got uh, the fuzzy mushroom platform so this was a gift with purchase but these actually are going to do pretty well as well and I got the Super Mushroom Surprise as well. Again, another gift with purchase. Both of those are gonna do pretty good. And because I did this on Mother's Day, I got the, the Friends Flower and Butterfly. Not quite sure how well that one's going to do, but I mean, that might be okay because it's not really to any scale. Hello, Pog. How you doing, my man? And there we go. So, yeah, next video is going to be the inventory video. Uh, show you what I've been picking up. Um, some of the stuff that you will see have come from the unboxing today. But uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you uh, liked what you saw, please hit the like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down, whatever. And also drop a comment below. Let me know what you've got. Um, do you agree with, uh, or, or, you know, do, yeah, do you agree with the, some of the sets that I've got? I, I've seen quite a few positive comments on my live stream here that um, I, I seem to have done pretty good with my choices. Do your research. And um, I will catch you guys in the next unboxing video. Uh, check out the other one as well. I will link it uh, on the back of this, uh, on the back screen. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.